God can give us messages through dreams, but many times the devil, being malevolent and knowing the importance of us receiving and implementing that message from God in the dream, will try to attack the message in order to counter the plan of God for our lives. Which we know is always for our good according to Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says that, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Usually, the devil does attack our dreams through. 1. Making us forget the dream when we wake up and 2. Which is even more common and ugly, the evil manipulation in the dream realms by the devil and his demons to bring evils and misadventures to the people. And the devil often succeed in employing the tools of fear, worry, and other negative emotions. And dreams have been one of the major tools and channels that the devil has been using to achieve their evil and manipulative agenda. But as I pray with you now, every satanic manipulative agenda over everyone under my voice shall crumble to nothing. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 8, from verses 9 and 10. Be shattered, O you peoples, and be broken in pieces. Give ear, all you from far countries. Gird yourselves, but be broken in pieces, gird yourselves, but be broken in pieces. Take counsel together, but it will come to nothing, speak the word, but it will not stand, for God is with us. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare null and without effect, every subsisting evil machination against every listener under my voice. In the mighty and wonder-working name of Jesus Christ. Just before we pray, I want you to understand what the devil tends to do using certain types of dreams. For instance, when you sleep, and in your dream, see yourself in rags, it suggests imminent shame. If you see yourself necked in dreams, it suggests the presence of sin and imminent disgrace. If in your dreams you see yourself going back to the village and writing the exams you have passed or graduated from, it suggests retrogression and demotion. And at other times, the devil also tries to poison you in dreams, by causing you to eat a spiritually manipulated concoction in the name of food. These are just a few among many other means that the devil employs. But as we pray now, no matter the type of dreams you have had, as I pray with you this hour, negative dreams shall be cancelled and voided. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every satanic manipulation intended for shame, demotion, loss, misfortune, backwardness, lack, poverty, and humiliation of every kind, comes under God's divine judgment of destruction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, let us pray. Everlasting Father, King of Glory, thank you because it's by your grace that we have not been consumed. Dear Everlasting Father Lord, we come in the power of your word and the authority of your name. For your word according to Isaiah 54, verses 14 through 17, which says, In righteousness you shall be established, you shall be far from oppression, for you shall not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near you. Indeed they shall surely assemble, but not because of me whoever assembles against you shall fall for your sake. Behold, I have created the blacksmith, who blows the coals in the fire, who brings forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the spoiler to destroy. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Therefore, Father Lord, according to your word, I cancel and counteract every satanic attack against my health, wealth, progress, etc., using the instrument of visions and dreams. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stifle, cancel, 
and annul every dream of shame, demotion, sickness, slavery, backwardness, that is channeled to me, my family, and my loved ones. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of your word Lord, in Job chapter 22, from verses 28 through 29, that says. You will also declare a thing, and it will be established for you, so light will shine on your ways. When they cast you down, and you say, Exaltation will come. Then he will save the humble person. I decree and declare null and void and of no effect in my life and the lives of my loved ones, every dream heralding failure, stagnation, sickness and diseases, business loss, death, misfortune, and every kind of mishap. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. Lord, I decree lifting, freedom, and deliverance for anyone under my voice, whose goals, dreams, visions, or destiny have been messed up by the devil, using the tool of dreams and its manipulation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, by the power of your word, and in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare the reversal of every negative agreement and conclusion, made in the dream realms, against every listener here. In the name of Jesus Christ. I turn every negative word against all my listeners into foolishness. In the name of Jesus Christ. In accordance with Matthew 16 verse 19, which says, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ban and cast out every devil, sent on assignment to carry out a negative decision, counsel, or conception against every listener here. In the name of Jesus Christ. I lose and release every blessing meant for anyone here that has been confiscated, or that is being held up by any power or force. I lose and free everyone here that is being held, or is being trailed by the devil and or his cohorts. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cancel every enchantment, spell, and or limitation prevalent in any listener's life, career, or business. In the name of Jesus Christ. And by the power of the word of God in Numbers, chapter 23, verse 23, that says. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel, according to this time it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what hath God wrought. I hereby destroy every enchantment and divination operational in the lives of every listener here. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree unto you, my dearest listener, as the Bible says in John 8 verse 36. Therefore if the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. I decree unto you freedom, healing, health, deliverance, wealth, prosperity, and promotion. May the face of the Lord shine upon you. By the power of our Lord Jesus, I recover for you every good thing you have lost. It is a new dawn for you now. It is a day of favor for you, and a day of recovery for you. From today henceforth, you will never know lack. You will never see pain and frustration. The Egyptian you see today, you shall never see again. The Lord shall fight your battles for you. I declare you blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go and prosper. Go and possess your possessions. Go and recover whatever has been stolen or confiscated from you by your enemy, the devil, whom the Bible says comes not except to steal, kill, or destroy. Therefore, whatever has been stolen from you, I decree and declare restoration for you. Whatever is dead, or has been killed in your life by the devil, I decree resurrection. In the mighty and wonder-working name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed, be blessed, and be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, dear Father Lord 
for doing it. For in the name of Jesus the Christ, I prayed. Amen.